Welcome back to Let's Play Spongebob Movie Game. Except for explosions. Oh, nice, love that. It's nice, nice to frame. Patrick running away from an explosion like that. Not running away, walking away. Much better. I appreciate the cussings throughout this level. There's actually stuff happening throughout. <laughs> Patrick's head just kind of bobs in doomed with the little projectiles. Also, I think those are the same torpedoes that Chuck throws at you. Valve Cream Bottom. I feel like it is. I said I was going like, to take on all the enemies, so let's try it. See if we can. I don't know if we have time though, we only have 15 minutes left, if that. Oh. Okay, that really wanted me to go somewhere else. So I don't know if I can complete Thug Tongue in 15 minutes. We'll see. Explosion! So there are two ways you can go here. Which is much more complicated than only having one way to go. What's written on this anyways? I can't tell what that graphic is on there. That yellow orange sticker. Anyways, I guess I'll just go both ways. So I'll take this route first. I'll take the lower route later. The lower one that's the Goofy Gooper token too, I believe. I don't think you get any Goofy, any Goofy Gooper tokens by taking the upper route. Let's take out this guy first. <coughs> eh. Oh no, that's the other route. Whoops. Darn. Uh, I just passed something up. I think it's unavoidable going back. Darn! Because that's actually the other route. Whoops. Oh, there's an exit sign. I don't know if it's that there. Where's the exit? I guess that's... Oh! Okay, so that's not really an alternate route. It's actually just... Okay. Brings it right back up here. Although, there aren't any enemies down here. Eh, I don't expect to die here. Oh boy. This might as well. Ah, oh, this part's always a lot more fun if you have the Disco Patrick outfit. I'm sad I don't. Oh well. I think Disco Patrick outfit's on the later ones, though. Be you unlock. It's not too bad though anyways. Pretty straightforward, I it's another hazard that's taken from Valve from the bottom, so. Actually, is it even possible to get the Now I think about it, is it possible to get the extra I'm thinking of on your first run through of this level? I think this level ends automatically once you get towards the end. I don't know if you have to pick up the Goofy Cooper token or not. No way. Oh! Cool. That was easier than I thought. We still missed one of the extras in here though, unfortunately. That was uh, way easier than I remembered it being. I remember that always being a massive pain. Of course, we do have to go through this area first, I think. Oh, wait. But we didn't take all the enemies. That's weird. Where, where is that area again? I don't know how to get there. There's also another optional... Darn, these guys are... They move a lot more slowly than I expect them to. Whoa. That's more violent than I expected. There is another challenge in here, though. One that's interestingly... At least people tell me it tends to be hard. 
Uh, I don't want to do that challenge yet. I want to do that later. Is the combat area challenge even unlocked? Yes, okay. Let's not have that blow up on me. Let's also not fall there and die, please. Because I need to get to that extra. But at least other people have. Hey, come on now. I should not have kept hurting me. I've heard other people say that the challenge here is harder if you've upgraded Patrick's throw move. Not throw move. Yeah, actually, that precisely that. So we can't do it because we don't have the throw move yet. Oh, come on! What? Okay, that was super awkward. How did that hurt me? That's a really strange hitbox. Okay, so I might not be able to get that extra now. In which case, you should probably just do the f fight challenge. I did ask for it. Give me what I asked for. Defeat things. Under the beautiful night sky. It's weird how you always fight enemies from the next level. Oh, whoa, I didn't even see that coming from wherever. Alright, Spongy. Uh, this fight still wouldn't be much easier if I had been getting upgrades. Oh, I saw it kind of awkward. How you see their eyeballs floating everywhere. Just rolling around. I'm doing some real violent things to these guys. Just chunks of flesh and eyeballs everywhere. You're doing some real messed up stuff, SpongeBob. Yeah, I knew I was gonna land on that. Not much reason not to get a third one, I guess. We're only on wave two, though. I don't think. Not rock bottom. Uh, I don't think. The trench, though, has its own equivalent of... Oh, come on, I couldn't move that guy quickly enough. I think it has its own equivalent of enemies that... Like the um, hammer types of enemies. Like the guys with the brooms. Or the crowbars. The guys with the brooms from... Ah, this guy's attack more quickly than I expect! Jeez! Hold up here. Yeah, stay there, please. Oh, it doesn't even kill him, it just hurts him. This would be made a bit easier if I had... So if I had the upgraded bash right now, I could use that. I could use the explosion from it to one, to kill these guys more quickly. But also... On top of that... And well, I don't know, it just killed all those guys, but something did. And it was very effective. I can use that to kill these guys in one hit and take out. Uh, hey! All the other enemies blow the foggers with splash damage. And I could also deal with these guys more easily. The range attackers. By hanging the projectiles back to them too. It's a big pain not being able to reflect the projectiles back in them because that means you actually have to get up close with them to attack them. These guys attack. Well, part of what makes these uh, foggers, or whatever they're called, kind of tough is that they attack. They don't really attack the way you might expect them to. They don't actually run up to you and then attack. They tend to run near you and then attack. Get hit by that explosion. What are you doing? Don't run away. Okay. We have, we have lots of Krabby Patties left, actually. Do they respawn? I think they respawn. I never realized that. Huh, you can actually cheat this out by just running away all the time. I didn't realize that was the case. 
But I'm gonna deal with these guys first each time, I think. These guys are too much of a pain. It's not easy to keep up with additional projectiles flying about overhead. Might as well thin the herd of these guys as I'm doing it, but... Ah, darn. Hope I'll get both of them. Or any of them. Whoa! Go away, dude. Ah! Okay. Yeah, but these guys are just too much of an additional liability. It's not too bad taking out the foggers on their own. But these guys... The spitters. I wish I could remember their names. They're too much of a nuisance. When I can't just reflect their projectiles back at them. If I can reflect projectiles, I can just... Oh, come on. Keep a watch for when the projectiles are coming at me and just hit those. And they'll just reflect it back to whoever sent it at me. Don't have to worry about where they actually are or anything like that. Oh, I don't know why I didn't think that would hit me. It's so much more annoying dealing with these guys when they can run away from you. Jeez. Yeah, I didn't. I never had the impression though that crab pace actually respawned here. That makes life a lot easier. It makes these combat arena challenges a lot less uh, concerning, a less imposing. Because without that, you just have a limited amount of life to take on all these enemies. But if you can just cheap it out by always waiting for the health to respawn, it's another matter entirely. I'm not doing that deliberately, mind you. I'm just taking forever to get rid of these enemies. Okay, hey, hold up here. Okay, we're good. Nothing but these guys. These guys are such a massive pain. Go away. Okay. No. Go away. There we go. We're done. Phew. They're only going to get harder from here. So we can probably just quit the game here, that's it for this episode. And I think next episode we'll just pick on up where... Uh... Actually, I don't know. How would we reappear back here? Because we'd have to complete the Combat Arena Challenge to appear here again, I think. Huh. I might just try to complete this one area. I think this area will... I think you might get a token at the end of this area. Or at least there's a box. I think there might be a token and a box. In which case... Is there a box? I don't see a box. Okay, never mind. Maybe we can find the sponge ball challenge. Oh, that's on the bottom we press. Then do the ground pound. Maybe. No, is there a good. So maybe if we can find the sponge ball challenge, I'll go get that. I don't actually complete it, but I'll get to it. And then, I don't know if some biohazard symbols on those cans. And then that'll unlock the smudge roll challenge, and we can start with that next time. Oh, or we can just throw it to, go to the throwing the fruit electric. Yeah, that works just as well. That's what we'll do.
And I'll see you guys next time in the next episode. Let's play SpongeBob. The movie without upgrades. Look at all those upgrade points available. We could upgrade a lot of things right now. We could upgrade all of our moves and none of our health right now if we wanted. But we're not going to do that. Ever. So we'll just... Are there any extras we missed? Nope. We'll just make a quick save here. We're already a fifth through the game, apparently. Really? On whose opinion? Like... I don't know how to calculate that percentage. I thought... That, how many gift we returns are there? Is there not a hundred? Maybe there's not. Whatever. Anyways. See you next time, everyone.